a little for one. I'm not Anonymous2099. Now, I like to shake up my videos every once in a while so that there's always something different to my channel. Something that can bring in new people or attract old people. People who were in my channel and then I sort of changed too much and all my videos changed and they left. And maybe you'll, you'll actually take something back from this. And, you know, sometimes it's good to have something different. Plus, I mean, I don't want to review stuff that's already been reviewed very recently, so... Now, I've decided I really have a lot of good movies, but these aren't too, too, too popular movies. I consider popular movies ones that everyone knows, ones that have countless, 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 countless reboots, remakes, or get a lot of money from the box office. Movies such as Jurassic World... Jurassic Park, Jaws, and I guess one series in this video is popular. All these movies are pretty popular, but they're definitely ones that you should consider if you haven't already watch, watching. And I just thought this would be funny because a lot of people have a lot of movie lists like top 10 movies that you have to watch before you die. I don't really think of it like that. I think these are just movies that whenever you want to watch a movie, watch them instead of something new. Or something that you've already seen. So, I do want to include some parameters. These movies are... Now, this is sort of just a warning. These movies can be from G to R to G to NC-17. It's like... It's basically R, but like you have to be aged to get in. So, just kicking off the list. I kind of just want to say... These are movies that I personally like, and they aren't the most popular movies or enjoyed by a lot of people. And this is definitely not my uh, top, top 13 favorite movies. Uh, this is not it. At the bottom of the list of movies you should watch is Hellboy. It is a movie about Hellboy. Um, and it has one of my favorite actors in it, uh, Ron Perlman and um, Doug Jones. It's really, really good. Um, it, it sort of bends the genre, like, uh, Matrix, that sort of bent its genre of action, and this definitely did, so I definitely recommend getting, picking up Hellboy, watching it, um, I have not seen the Daniel Arbor one, but, uh, I, I'm going to think of that, and I'm putting this at the bottom of the list, because I, I've mentioned him enough, it's definitely not a popular movie, and it's definitely not a bad movie, I'd recommend it to anyone. Now, in next place is also a popular movie, but still, it's I, I don't feel it's too popular because there hasn't been a, a remake or a reboot or a sequel, because no one can. It's Mrs. Doubtfire. Now, this movie may come across as weird, but really, I don't feel that. I feel it's just a father who wants to see his children and will do anything, and Robin Williams really makes this movie a movie. If it didn't have him and it had someone else, let's say if it had Adam Sandler, I don't think it would be necessarily as funny because Robin Williams can really do voices, he can do multiple voices, and you sort of buy that Mrs. Doubtfire is a person until you realize, oh, that's just Robin in a costume. But again, that's a movie that everyone kind of knows, so I don't feel it's definitely a obscure movie. And none of these are in any way obscure. They're just sort of movies that I feel you should see. Now, this one you probably all have seen, but if not, then come on, watch it. Back to the Future, the first one. Uh, uh, the second one and third one, I'm sort of fine with, but eh, eh. It's not, it's not the best. Definitely not the best. Film trilogy-wise, I, I think it's good that they stopped at three, um, but I definitely think that one movie, the first movie is great. I think that if you have to watch one of them, watch the first one. If you have to watch all three of them, then watch all three of them. But really, if you watch the first one, just just know the other two are very, very repetitive movies. But I guess that's sort of like a, a joke on how it's very much like, oh, yeah. Uh, time repeats itself, so I, I, I know that they were trying to do that, and they kind of even say that once. They're like, time will repeat itself. 
Now, this movie is very popular, but again, it's just because the directors got lazy and stupid and kind of made the rest of the series bad. That is, of course, The Matrix. Now, this movie is great because it, it has good acting. Keanu Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne really do good roles in this sort of genre-bending movie. Uh, I definitely do not think that this is a um, non-popular movie. I think if you have to watch one of them, again, watch the first one. Just, just saying. If you have to watch one of these movies, usually watch the first one. Now, getting back, we are at Blade Runner. This is a great movie. I, I, I It's R-rated, but it's still amazing, and it has good acting. It, it's definitely a good movie, and I, I really, I really enjoy this movie, so pick it up. Next is also a sort of known movie, but um, I don't feel it has enough of the popularity that it deserves. Treasure Planet, this is such a fun movie. I just love kicking back. Whenever I need to watch a animated movie, I watch this one. Because it's fun, it's cool, it's creative, and it, it did its job. It, it, it was a fun movie for how long it was. And I'm not starting, I'm just trying to think of what, I, what I'm going to say for it. Next is sort of a movie that I don't consider obscure. I just feel that more people have to kind of watch it. It is the movie Signs. Um, it's a great movie, and by all means, I think that this is one of M. Night Shyamalan's best at his peak his peak performance, his best, he did Sixth Sense, he also did Unbreakable, and the new movie Glass, and, uh, he's had some bad movies, uh, After Earth, Airbender, some I don't, some I don't want to mention, because they're that bad, they're, they're pretty bad, but this movie really shows the best out of him, so, definitely if you haven't watched it, it's a little scary, it's PG-13, so, I don't think it's that bad. Now, my final movie is sort of, it feels very obscure to me. It feels obscure to me. But I, I really do like this style so much that it, it's okay with me. You're probably wondering, what is that style? Now, one of my favorite movies of all time is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And it's because it's alien work. And the puppetry and the costumes are all fantastic. Are all on fire. And I like a lot of work like Pan's Labyrinth, Hellboy. Because they have elaborate costumes. And that's at the time where they didn't have as much CGI as we do now. Where um, nearly all of Avengers Endgame and Infinity War was CGI. It was more than 95%. Which I don't think that's good. Um, because this movie has a little bit, and it does have some, but I definitely think that it has a little bit, and that's The Fifth Element. Now, the costumes in this are great. Now, it's a very confusing story, and very long story, and it's kind of stupid, um, but it's high-voltage fun. It's, it's like if you were to just have, like, be really, like, tired and want to write a story, and you write this story, but you're also on crack. Um, it, it's a fun story, it's a fun movie, by all means I'd say watch it, it's on Netflix, and it has really a lot of cool designs to it, definitely if you're looking for a action movie, you watch that one. These are just sort of my movies that have faded into obscurity, um, and which ones you should wa watch. Um, these movies have faded because they sort of have become cliched. Um, sort of, mm, push down. Um, The Matrix was a great series until the second one and the third one really came out and sort of made the movies just drag on too much and be terrible. Um, and with Back to the Future, it was repeating itself with Hellboy. Uh, we won't see one for probably another 15 years or so. So, that that's all I really have to say about, um, this about this topic of obscure movies uh i don't like it when movies become kind of obscure and into sort of genres 
Um, because, uh, you know, it, it's alright. I definitely think that if your movie becomes obscure, it's it's alright. Some people will like it, some people still will. And that's all I really gotta say for right now. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this sort of a weird, different style video. Anyway.